Among the Janapadas, the first and foremost Janapada which came into prominence in 6th century BC was the Kashi Janapada. We have references to Pali canonical texts where we find that the rulers of Kashi were always very eager to become the paramount power. Aggarajanum is the term used and Sakala Jambuddipa that is they wanted to be the ruler of the entire subcontinent. There was a protracted struggle between the Kashi Janapada and the Koshala Janapada and we find that Koshala later on subdued Kashi when Prashinajit, the ruler of Koshala, came into power. Now the question is why was Kashi so important? If we look at the location of Kashi, we find that Kashi had its capital in Varanasi which was bounded by two rivers, Varuna and Asi, Varuna in the north and Asi in the south and it was a very important riverine trade center and very important port of the Ganga valley. It was located in a trade route and the economic resources of Kashi is mentioned in the Jatakas, it is mentioned in the other Buddhist literature. So we have fleet of merchants moving around Kashi and so control of Kashi was very important for the Koshalan monarch. And we shall see that later on even Magadha was very much eager to have Kashi within its fold. As for Koshala, in the beginning when the ruler of Magadha was Bimbishara, Prashinajit and Bimbishara had a very close tie and we do not have any reference to any struggle between the two powers. But later on, after the demise of Bimbisharo, when Ajatashutru came to power, he was very much against the Koshalans and we have stories where it is referred to that Ajatashutru actually tried to curb the power of the Koshalans. Now what we see among these Mahajanapadas is that the struggles between some of the Janapadas continued and there was an attempt by an important Janapada to have control over the other Janapadas and thus extend the power and politics of their own territory. Next to Kashi and Koshala, we have references to another Janapada which is the Anga Janapada. Anga was a very important territory in eastern Bihar and it is presently identified with the Bhagalpur region. Actually, the capital of Anga was Champa and it was also referred in text as Champapura. So control of Champa would give any monarch an added advantage of being possessed of the resources of the riverine trade network. Champa was connected with distant lands. Ships from Champa sailed to Shubarnabhumi. Shubarnabhumi is the region of Southeast Asia and from the very early times we have now archaeological evidence to suggest that Eastern India had close maritime linkages with countries of Southeast Asia. So if we look at the entire geography, we find that the 16 Mahajanapadas were located from the northwestern in, uh, frontier to Eastern Bihar, from the Godavari that is from the Deccan region to the region of uh, the Mallas and uh, this North Bihar and so and the, the western part we have Elaba the prime locations where Elaba in the west that is Koshambi and in the east we have Anga. Only among the more important Janapadas Avanti was outside the middle Ganga plains otherwise all the Janapadas were in the middle Ganga plains. And here it is important to remember that this is the time that is 6th century BC is the time where we have references to second urbanization. Thus control of Champa by any power was important for it would give them the revenues which was desirable for having a strong state foundation.